That is the footprint right there of our aqua blocks. What do you think? Should we still put a sphere back there? I'm not 100% sold on doing a sphere there. I like one more element, but they don't need another element. Mm. There's plenty going on. We've got about 17 I of them. I guess you guys won't know until the very end. Mm -hmm. So they're actually not gonna know a lot of things, like the way the water rips through here, the way it comes over that rock. Whether or not we do a sphere, they're not seeing the lights, they're not seeing a lot of stuff. We've got a lot of little things that we can get done today while we're setting kind of one rock at a time. So we're gonna focus on that stuff. We will kind of walk you through some of the little things that we do on a project to help make things easier for us. Till then, let's keep rolling. Okay, so we've made a pretty good mess inside the reservoir here, but because of kind of the way the project is going and logistics of things, we are going to start digging the wetland filter over here. I'm gonna walk around over by the house. That is the footprint right there of our aqua blocks. We're gonna have to kind of keep it long and narrow. We've got a leach field running over on this side that we need to stay away from. So we're gonna run long and narrow and then that'll, that's basically gonna be the height of the wetland filter right there. We've got 24 small aqua blocks. We should have more than enough. We are gonna go a little bit deeper uh, with this. So we are gonna go our standard three foot depth, maybe go a little bit deeper, but we're gonna sh really shrink the appearance of that wetland filter up there just by kind of manipulating the shape on top of the footprint of the wetland filter by bringing some rocks in and out because we're gonna run into kind of some challenges in proximity to the fire pit area over there. I don't wanna bring anything too close because I do wanna have plenty of room for landscape. If you remember, that right there is going to be the entrance waterfall into the pondless reservoir from our wetland filter. While that is getting dug by one person, we are going to refocus our attention back on this waterfall area and really set that negative edge. We've got a beautiful piece of Semco stands, sandstone that's going to maintain our negative edge that's about two inches thick. Rather than using anything a little bit thicker, we wanted to keep that water level in the pond as high as possible in the event that this thing ever shut off. That's where we're at. We're going to kind of split up uh, or divide and conquer, if you will, and focus on those two areas so that we can make really good progress today in measurable progress so we can really see what's going on. Well, that's that. So we have finally finished excavation on the wetland filter, as you can see behind me and by the pile of dirt that we generated. We ran into a couple hiccups right now and, or with this part of the project. One was the size constraints. We ran into some limitations based on where the septic field is, which actually runs kind of where that pile's at currently right there. So we had to shrink the overall footprint or the width of it versus what we were really, really hoping for. To compensate for that, we ended up going an extra foot and a half deeper. So we were about four and a half feet deep on the bottom of our rectangle hole, and that would be the bottom of the aqua block. So what that does is that actually gives us more volume to filter the water. Water. What I mean by that is the more volume is the more substrate we can fit in there, the more filter media that that water is passing up through. However, that doesn't come without, maybe not necessarily a drawback, but kind of a challenge. What can happen by going deeper with that wetland filter is you actually are lessening the amount of dissolved oxygen because it is deeper. Normally one on a three foot deep bog filter is um, anywhere from a 
1,000 to 1,500 gallons per centipede. Because we went deeper and we want to actually increase the dissolved oxygen because we are losing it because of the depth, we ended up having to increase the pump size by doing that. So rather than doing like a 3PL into there, we're gonna end up doing a 5PL. We will split off and steal a few hundred gallons for that for a sphere that's actually gonna go up somewhere right around where Corey's at, just to add a little bit more visual interest up there. So we ended up having to increase the pump size to compensate for the decrease in dissolved oxygen because of the greater depth of the wetland filter. So that was an interesting fact that I actually learned just by simply giving Ed the Pond Professor a call. Next up, we've got our snorkel centipede in. We're gonna go start getting our aqua blocks in. Then we'll start getting our cobbles over top of that. And then we'll start sizing down on our substrate. So let's get this daisy chain going. super impressed as, as I walk around more and more stuff got done they got the bottom completely finished cleaned ready to go that's all done this side is finished finished as I move over here you can see we just need a little bit of gravel here take seconds countertop still has to go in that could take three weeks to six weeks to get done just depending on what our ETA is on getting that thing measured and then shipped in from the granite area this waterfall got finished love the way this thing's turned out Chris actually split it around the rock. we'll get a little thing coming that way a little thing coming here we set this rock late day before I left just to try to create more of a pool in here and then that water is gonna race up over this and then go that way which will look really cool then drop again underneath the stairs before it goes down into there you can see Ryan over here digging out the last spot for that boulder fog filter is basically done drop in some rocks up on top call it a day and I think there's like a day left to work out here and we're finished we might have this thing running but before we go any further let's ask Chris a very important question Chris. Sorry. I'm trying to take care of HR what, stuff. What was that? HR stuff. <laughs> HR stuff. How many total loads of soil came out? I would guess. No, we can't have 15. a guess. Well, I guess we'll have an invoice. Yeah. We did a bet online, like these people. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. And how many loads would came out? Do you have any idea, Matt? 17. I think it's closer to 10. I guess they're part of the bet now. They're just guessing. We'll find out. I think we had 20 some before. We'll see how many they actually get out of here. All right, well, progress is intense over here. Can't wait to see this thing all buttoned up. I don't think I'm going to show you guys a single other video until it's up and running. So let's just take one more pan of what we've got now before it's up and running. I'm sitting in the sunken fire pit area. Remember, we'll have waterfall coming out of there. Water coming right up to our countertop in this space. This will be all filled with water. Water walls coming down, overflow this way underneath the stairs, down into this over here. And then another waterfall fed from our bog filter, wetland filter, coming down into this space. Looks complete to me, but always looks better when it's running. We made a heck of a lot of progress today. I am standing in front of what is going to be the wetland filter and and we got a bunch of the big rocks set. There's not a whole lot left to do. So that makes me feel really, really, really good. We know that the finish line is getting close. I think Brian thinks we have probably one more day or so. We do have a lot of work left, but I think I think we can do it based off of his time frame. I actually see Brian over there. There he is. So he is coming out of what the homeowners would be walking out of their house and taking that path. Oh yeah, there you go. That's a big one. <laughs> we made a lot of progress today, B so much like I'm looking forward to seeing like all of it come together like all the other things that we're not in charge of between like this is that bar railing yep you know with the bar stools kind of hanging out there I think they'll live over there on that little those staircase over there this is definitely my favorite part check out these stone stairs as we're working we're using it the same way the homeowners yeah, would well, you we're know geeked about it you know yeah like, we're pretty geeky pond guys I love the idea of dropping in some pathway lights just drilling out some holes like so hole there you know hole over here hole over there like just putting them right oh into so the you're stone. saying use the, the aquascape pathway lights and like we'll drill them right into the rock dude that's a cool idea epic 
the feeling down in here when that water comes right up to this countertop is gonna be awesome with the fire there yep the bog filter behind you i really like i want to try to push them to get like maybe five of these things and just do like a whole wall oh cool of them in here so man can you, you imagine how sunken. intimate that would feel yeah We've left plenty of soil to do some neat plants in between these rocks and our wetland filter. Yeah. I like how low profile the wetland filter is back here, right? I mean, it's that's cool. Yeah. It just feels really, really neat. You feel surrounded by water when you're back here. What do you think? Should we still put a sphere back there? That would be loud, but they could always turn it off if they wanted to. It would add visual interest to this area. And it'd be awesome if they brought that landscape even closer to behind the bog. I'm not 100% sold on doing a sphere there. I like one more element, but they don't need another element. Mm. There's plenty going on. We've got about 17 I of them. I guess you guys won't know until the very end. Mm -hmm. So they're actually not gonna know a lot of things, like the way the water rips through here, the way it comes over that rock. Whether or not we do a sphere, they're not seeing the lights. They're not seeing a lot of stuff. Which oh. is why they're going to have to tune in to the next episode. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Seriously, right. folks, we, we do promise you that the end of this video is not the end of it for you guys. But you're going to have to stay tuned till the next episode to check out the finished product. Product. Project. <laughs>